All right guys, so in this video, what I'm gonna do is go over the example on the inability to upload files to YouTube. Um, this happened to me around about three weeks ago, and I guess with blind luck, I managed to actually get it resolved. This time around, this week, happened again. So I took a bit more time and effort to try and figure out what the issue was for myself. Hopefully this video gives you a bit more insight, um, source of elimination, I guess, but hopefully it resolves the issue for you. So in this example, uh, I'm on my Windows computer. Uh, I have an MP4 that I'm trying to upload. I haven't done anything special with this MP4 file. Um, I tried various encodings in the browser, tried to clear in the cache, uh, done, done quite a few things, none of which resolved the issue. Here you can see I, I, can, I get to 0%. Took the same video, uh, put it on a USB stick, moved that over to my Mac, and then I was able then to upload that directly in um, into YouTube. Um, exactly the same file was able to process. So for me, I mean, it would be ideal if you had a, another computer to try this on. Most individuals do not. Um, but there was obviously a distinction between my Windows and my Mac system, um, or at least how the setup happened, uh, how it's set up. Um, connect into the internet. So I then started to go through the process um, and again if I just go for the um, just click the next 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 you can see it's processing at the bottom um, but once it's uploaded the video is then processing I can jump back onto my Windows computer. So I started looking at the difference. Um, one thing I did notice is my Ethernet connection which is on the left hand side was my Windows 10. Um, in comparison my Mac was actually running on a wireless instance. Um, same same router um, so I decided to look at what the difference could be there. Tried uh, you know could be a network card issue try uh, try swapping my Cat8 with a Cat5 see if there's any full duplex issues, trying a number of things. But the salient point being is that given the fact I'm trying to upload a file, the upload speed was significantly less on my Windows computer than it was on my Mac. And I think for me that was um, um, a clear sign that that was the actual issue. So with that, um, I then started to go through a source of elimination, trying to put my Windows, well I didn't actually have a Windows connection um, with the ability to do the wireless. But for me, um, I jumped back on to the Windows server. Um, and again, just going through this same scenario, going for the speed test, and you can try it out yourself, Google speed test, run that speed test. And I haven't done anything um, um, to this point um, on actually making any changes. So my download speed's pretty fast. Um, but obviously my upload speed is very, very poor. So the thing what you need to do here, and it's always good to test it out, um, again, just try and upload, uh, just try and grab that same file. Copy that over. Yeah, and you can see it's still at 0%. So for me, um, what the next steps um, I performed actually resolved the issue. So with that, if I close this window, I can um, cancel the upload. I'm not really too bothered about that. You can see here it's at 1%. So this is the issue for me. How I resolve that is I go into the start, go into control panel. Within here, I need to find my network uh, that I'm connected to. So if it, I, for me, I click on uh, Ethernet 2, go on to Properties, and then on Config. Um, I tried various scenarios with looking at uh, dynamic um, uh, DHCP, making a, a, a dynamic IP address, tried all those aspects as well. But for me here, one thing that I needed to resolve was the actual uh, TCP checksum from my um, uh, IPv6, which obviously I wasn't uh, wasn't using. Uh, if I go into command prompt, and it it will give you a new IP address, but if you you can obviously ensure that that's the case. If you do an IP config, 
and do a release. After that, if you do a renew, it basically will go to your DHCP or, or your router and get a new IP address. So once that's done, if I go back into Google and uh, do a test speed again, again, upload speed, uh, download speed is not too of a concern here, but um, for me, I needed to uh, do a refresh, otherwise it would pick up the old connection. So here, um, download speed is pretty, pretty weak as of now, comparatively, but the upload was substantial, um, which obviously was the main difference. So if I go back into uh, YouTube and then try and upload, try and drag, drag that over with the exact same file that worked on my Mac that wasn't working on my Windows system uh, just a minute ago, I was able to upload it. So that in itself was the issue. I know that you look at certain times at which you can upload it. And if again, if you're on a slower connection, you may have to wait a little bit. But for me, given the fact I already had a good connection, tried various other troubleshootings, tried obviously um, clearing the cache and everything like that, didn't quite work. For me, the checksum for the IPv6 resolved the issue, and it's been good ever since. Hope that resolves the issue for you. Let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching.